Yo, what is up guys? Jack in action here as always, and I'm bringing you something pretty special for me. My first four star gameplay video of Undertaker the Last Outlaw. Per requested from my video I took, Undertaker the Four Star. Commented by Muhammad Khan, I believe, I, I hope I pronounced Khan, it's Khan. Uh, thank you for commenting and, and requesting this video. I, I'm having so much fun making these videos, so I'm always happy to do it. And also a good shout out to Hunter who told me to take Undertaker to four star instead of Baron Corbin who I had. So I got Undertaker to four star before I could ever get Baron Corbin to three star, honestly. So thank you so much for that. So I want to show you guys a bit of my Undertaker. I've leveled him up a bit. I got him to uh, 9,562 9, to level 128. So good health, good black gem damage, all that. He is a force to be reckoned with. Now, I love Undertaker so much because he's one of the most fun characters I think you could have at 4-star because you can use him a few different ways. This is how I've been using him. I have been putting Jerry Lawler and Titus O'Neil on him and have put Old School, Two-Handed Chokeslam, and Tombstone Piledriver. I put the Two-Handed Chokeslam instead of like Snake Eyes or anything else because it's only six gems to get uh, this move. So I can get one three gem match at the beginning and I'll get it pretty much right away. Uh, the depending obviously on uh well i shouldn't say i get three gems right away but you know what i mean I, it's most times i it's sometimes hard to find a blue or a black gem match sometimes so to have that yellow just in case is a lot of help also it's a pretty high damage move and the strength gems alone could, will do 10 th a little over ten thousand, i believe uh damage and so with that with the if i did old school and then tombstone power driver does insane damage so you can also add Snake Eyes into this and then put the Leaping Clothesline. I don't have the Leaping Clothesline all the way leveled up, but converting all Immobile Gems, if you could get a, uh, create more Immobile Gems, maybe, you could easily get a very powerful strike per move. The Big Boot, I don't recommend using. Uh, I don't see a purpose for that. You could also put Bray Wyatt down here also and then put this uh, Leaping Clothesline as well. You could do a lot of things. I choose to go with this because it seems to work best for me. So I'm going to go in and show you guys a match against a Tier 1 uh, technician, Mr. Perfect, in the Summer Showdown. So as we all know, Mr. Perfect is scary. I'm just going to make sure I have enough stuff here. So those are purple. Yep. I always liked using these more just because I don't want to waste. So that, why don't I put that just in case? And we're going to see how it is. So as you can see, I am about a thousand talent level short of him. So I am at a disadvantage probably on this. But Undertaker, he's never at a disadvantage. He's never. So let's see what I get. All right. So here I got a couple options. I could get the four black gems, which would be insane damage. I could do the three for uh, yellows. Or I just go with the blue. I'm going to have to get two... Matching for blues, so that's what's tough. I wish they would change that. I could test my luck, with them, but I'm going to try this. So he's probably going to use a purple. Yep. I should probably use that. Gain seven degree. You know what? I'm not going to, though. I want to see just how good he could be again with no props. We're going to see this out. He does have insane health, and I do not have insane health. But something tells me because we're four stars, this won't be a problem. That seven green MP though is gonna, yep, that's gonna hurt. So his move is gonna really hurt me. Only thing I can see here is yellow gems. So that's what I am gonna do. Hopefully I can get a blue cascade there. I did not. Now, this should not put me in danger unless he gets an insane cascade, which I'm sure he could because that happens to me a lot. All right, there we go. So there's... Uh, this will kick, be an easy kick out. He is suffering for a bit, but that's okay. I still got my moves. He has none. We're just going to put these... Uh, yeah, let's do these too. So again... I don't see blue, but I do see black. So now I know for sure I'm going to have a black move ready. No freaking way. Huh. Ain't that something. What a cascade to get. Yet I'm not worried. All right. 
So I'm probably going to go down here. Let's just take these. Uh, why don't we do this as well? Add in one extra. Oh, that hurts. I should have realized that. So he is going to get this for blue. I don't think this should hurt me too much. But I have my finisher along with three power gems. So what I'm going to be looking for here is a decent cascade. I would use black gems cascade if I can, but it does not appear I do have any. So I'm going to do that to get good some yellow. Um, boy, it did not give me much, did it not? I'm going to try to destroy the rest of the black gems then. Let's go with that. I don't think this is going to pen him, like, completely. Oh, what a shot clock moment there. I, I held my breath, as you could tell. So you, you can see that I just put down Mr. Perfect with some one of his best moves. He's a tier one guy. I suffered quite a bit, yes, but a win's a win. When it boils down to it, a win's a win. So as you can see, there were some times I didn't really get what I was hoping for, but still came out on top. I am now working on Doink, getting him. I got one wrestling mat, and I have started on Andre. I'm going to try to get him to force her. But otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. And thank you again, for Muhammad, for commenting and Hunter for the suggestion. You, you guys made this video, pretty much. So thank you again. Um, I'm going to head out. I got to go take a shower, and I'm going to go to class. So you guys stay beautiful.